Oh my god, dude. It didn't even tell me to deploy my parachute. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so here we have PF30. I mean, I ended up spectating this dude very late. We're in like the top 30, basically. This dude has six kills and he is set. Golden gas mask, a ton of cash, his own loadout and everything. Pop the UAV, seems like he's pushing this dude out in the open. And there's a dude on top of this building. It looks like he's using an MP5 and a C58, which is, I mean, you really see people use the C58 and this dude just getting sniped, dude. He's getting cracked at everything, but this dude's movement seems very cracked. <laughs> You can hear him spamming trying to repel, dude. I mean, this dude seems like a warzone vet. Like, you can see his movement and everything. I mean, this dude's getting sniped from somewhere, but he doesn't really know where. I assume it's probably the dude that was, like, on top of this building or something. But, I mean, they have to rotate out of downtown anyway. But, I mean, you don't really see a lot of people use the C-58 alongside the MP5. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the C-58 is becoming more popular. I'm pretty sure Warzone did drop a little update today. Or maybe it's planning on dropping today, tomorrow, or something like that. And I'm pretty sure they did nerf the nail gun. And this dude has two pings right here in the hospital. They look like they're on a collision course and he's trying to third party. Oh, so he has a right shield. The right shield dude ends up getting outplayed. There is one dude above him. Yeah, he's above. I don't know if he knows. Oh, he's done, dude. He's done. Oh, the dude actually has a button open the door. Oh, PF30. This dude's going insane right now. This dude is cracked. <laughs> like, you can see his movement and everything. His accuracy. Dude, I've seen people do that in so many other spectating videos, but never did I think I would be spectating someone like that, dude. So disrespectful. If he ends up losing, I don't even know what to say, dude. You can't disrespect the entire lobby and not win the game. I mean, I'm just glad this dude didn't do that to my dead body. <laughs> I mean, this dude does have a bounty. His bounty seems to be out in the open, maybe chilling one of these buildings, possibly. Looks like this dude's trying to get an SUV. Doesn't have a UAV to pop, even if he gets close to someone. But I mean, he has to cash to buy one anyway. I don't get why he would hop into the most beat up SUV there is. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna buy another UAV and probably instantly pop it. Yeah, it's a pop of the UAV. I don't think he got any pigs on that. So I mean, I think he might try to push the bounty. I mean, that's like the only other thing he can do. It's 18 people left, 17 minus is a dude. And the pop of his dead silence to try and push his dude probably is on the top building. So probably popped it a bit too early. I mean, he has to be careful. The dude could be before the ladder. Oh, this dude's so ballsy. He's just pushing him. Drops down. Dude's are there. Dude, he's got the bunny hops everything. Look at his movement. All right, I don't even know where he is. It's <laughs> probably down below. I mean, if he's not up above, then he's definitely down below. But this dude has no idea where he is and... Now do I. <laughs> He's not going to be on the heartbeat because he wasn't picked by the UAV. Now this dude's probably more cautious and more scared because he knows how the play is playing. They're probably camping down below. They're probably just chilling on the stairs or something. Ends up seeing the player, ends up just completely beaming him, dude. He nearly ended up losing that gunfight, but luckily that hit fire saved him. Plus, I mean, that movement, it's beautiful, dude. I just love spectating this player. I mean, hey, at least it's a disrespect in that, dude. <laughs> I got a feeling at this point, UAVs just don't matter because everyone's probably has Ghost on. I mean, 13 people recon. in this circle is wild. Pops in advance, gets a lot of pings. There's about nine people pinged, so he only needs to know where the other four people are, which is actually kind of crazy. I mean, for some reason, there's just a ton of people in this area for whatever reason. I don't know why they're not, like, killing each other. Like, they just don't know that each other are there. I mean, if I were PF30, I'd go for this dude in Burnyard, but he's definitely camping in that building. Maybe one of the dudes on the outskirts or something. But I mean, it looks like he's pushing this dude in another tall building. Has to be very careful that they're not on the staircase again and risk losing that gunfight. Pops his final UAV. Don't know if that was really a good decision. Uh, it looks like that player is just chilling on the staircase like the last dude. I mean, I have high hopes for PF30, dude. This dude's just gonna destroy people. Someone in an SUV did jump out. He has to be very careful. Oh my god, dude, they were just camping in the corner. PF30 is a beast, dude. Like, this dude's game IQ is just on one, dude. Like, this dude's IQ is insane. Like, he knew. And they just went in through the window and just completely destroyed him. Like, usually campers like that would just destroy me. But I mean, this dude's just on another level, man. If he doesn't win after disrespecting that one dude, 
I don't even know what to say. He does know someone else is here. Someone did jump out in an SUV. So he probably is in this building or maybe this building. And he knows he's ADSing and everything. Oh, Sniper barely misses him. Don't even know where that was from. I mean, PF Dirty's unfazed. You know, someone's in here. They definitely have Ghost on. I assume most people have Ghost on in these final few circles. Ends up getting beamed, immediately makes a run for it. He's definitely going to replay, but he has to be very careful. Ends up successfully replaying and escaping, which in that situation, I definitely would have panicked and died. Ends up killing Widowmaker. I mean, dude, this dude's cracked. <laughs> like, what do you say? End up getting sniped and cracked, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's one plate short, but I'm sure he's going to end up pushing this dude or something. Player is pushing him. He hears him. They end up barging in. Hits his shots. The player is pushing him. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem that they're replating. Ends up making a successful rotation, but goes down. PF Dirty. Dude, I am so sad. I want this dude to win. I mean, he disrespected that one dude by flipping him off. No way. There's no way he shot his body and teabagged him, dude. He must have known. He must have died to this dude or something. Like, that's impersonal. <laughs> Maybe we have Kiren. I mean, this dude's getting shot from up above. He's really dead. He's re challenging like a maniac. I mean, he has 13 kills as well. So these players are just insane, dude. I mean, there's seven people left. Yeah, this dude's completely disengaging from that sniper because he knows that every time he challenges him, he's just going to keep getting cracked. I mean, after killing PF30, he has enough cash to buy whatever he wants. Pops the UAV, ends up getting two pinks over here. I'm pretty sure this dude was a dude that was shooting at him, and then there's this dude that's probably just camping. So it looks like he's going to push this dude in this building. Oh, never mind, he's up above, and to whiff in the shot. I mean, he has to be very careful, though. He's out in the open. This dude's definitely playing ballsy. I mean, these guys are challenging each other like maniacs, dude. They're, like, going crazy. This dude can't hit a shot for the life of him. Ends up cracking that dude. He's going to push him with the FFAR, but... Oh, never mind. That's PF Dirty, no! But I think Kiren's gonna challenge the dude in this building. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this dude's name right. <laughs> Honestly, gunshots from down below. He knows that that dude's up on that fire tower. So an SUV pulling up, they jumped out. Oh, it's actually that dude that's firing. He's gonna see if he can get the shot on him, hard scoping. Cracks him. Dude instantly goes prone to armor up. Of course, trophy system, dude. <laughs> and the trigger a proxy mine, because of course the dude camping has proxy mines everywhere. Someone throws something. Dude, how many proxy mines do you need? Yeah, he's lost this dude. Yeah, he panicked. Yep, he ran, ends up panicking like crazy. I mean, this dude's freaking out because of all the proxy mines. Three people left. We have Housey, though. I mean, this dude's running a Diamati, which is very strange. Seems like this dude may be the dude doing the proxy mines. I don't, really don't know. Kind of weird how he has a Diamati as a secondary. I mean, someone is in a rover, but they're just dipping. Yeah, Housey, though, knows, dude. He's just sitting there waiting. Gunshots firing. If he peeks it, he's crazy. Oh, he's crazy, dude. Yeah, player's right there. End up killing Max. Okay, so 1v1v1. Don't know how he ended up getting that kill. I don't know if the dude is still on top of the fire tower. There was a dude that went over here, but I mean, unfortunately for him, he has to make a bigger rotation out in the open, which is wild. So there's one dude to his left and there's one dude behind him. But I don't know if this dude rotated over to this side. There's really nowhere to hide out in this circle, dude. So he put his precision airstrike to his left to scare that dude away, but you don't know where these players could be rotating from, dude. He has to make the rotation as well. It's so bad. The only cover you get are trees, but wait until the very last minute. Yeah, he's hugging it, dude. In situations like this, I don't blame him. I sort of know why he has a Diamati, but I guess it's working. End up getting beamed, end up getting knocked, and I mean, it's over. Not that good, end up killing Housie though. It's a 1v1 situation. I mean, there's some shots going off, but not that good. He ends up seeing the player, he's hiding behind there. Has to be very careful, doesn't run out of ammo. They both have to rotate, but that player there has to rotate first. He's hard scoping it, dude, but... There's no way he lost that. Up the Gators gets the dub. There's no way he lost that. He was hard scoping and everything, but he just didn't hit his shots. He really wasn't that good. <laughs> I mean, GG's, dude. The players we spectated in this game, they were godly. I love spectating players like that, dude. Plus, I mean, they were just so disrespectful to one another. <laughs>